At 54, you might think about putting your feet up after work and watching the box. But after a hard day at the concrete factory, Steve likes to go out and box. 54, yes, but it's only a number. You're as old as what this is and this. And me, it's still telling me I'm 16. He learned how to mix it up as a lad at the Nottingham School of Boxing and after 136 wins in 148 amateur fights, he turned pro and then retired back in 1987. He made his comeback in September last year after a 23-year break. I'd like to say it was nerve-wracking, but, you know, it was just like I'd been in yesterday. Like concrete, Steve is very tough and he doesn't crack under pressure. Steve's top bloke, lovely bloke, as long as you don't upset him, give him too much to do. Um, gentle giant, really. The man is absolutely fit as a fit. He's as fit as a butcher's dog, so to say. He cemented his place in history, winning the EBF Midlands Cruiserweight title and now hopes to fight for a British title. I'm not going to lie, it takes a couple of days to get over it, whereas it used to take a couple of hours. But a couple of days, what's that? And it's almost as though someone's put reinforcement in like, like you're doing That's here. That's right, it's exactly what I'm doing here now. It's like I've put reinforcement in Steve's chin. It's solid, absolutely solid. How long are you going to keep going? Well, while ever the punches aren't hurting me and I can still move out of the way of them quick and fire them back, I'm enjoying it. Steve hopes to be recognised by the Guinness Book of World Records as the oldest competitive boxing champion in the world. Jeremy Nicholas, East Midlands Today, Summer Coats.